Yoshi here and welcome back to Super Mario Galaxy! Last time we did the Dusty Dune Galaxy in the bedroom and collected five stars. Yeah, that was a doozy of an episode last time. But yeah, so today we are going back into the bedroom and we are finishing it finally after all the videos this month. And yeah, so by the way, I didn't mean to get this video off. Uh, by December, well, not December, by November 30th, but, uh, due to, uh, family stuff. Um, I will not be able to edit it by then, so, yeah, I apologize. But anyway, so, yeah, let's get right into this. So, as I said, we're going to be finally finishing the bedroom facing Bowser. But first, we have more important business to attend to. We have this hungry Luma who is... Facing depression because he has no candy or Star Bits. I don't know. Apparently, apparently Star Bits actually all a candy in Japan, actually. Not sure what they're called, I forgot, but yeah, they all candy. So, if you didn't know that, that's your trivia of the day. So yeah, that's it. I'm stuffed. Here I go. Transform! Alright, and he is going to transform into the Big Mouth Galaxy. See, I'm just... I'm just psychic. I already knew. How could that possibly happen? How would the creator of this video already know the name of this course? Is it possible that this is not his first time recording this episode? I don't know. Doesn't sound likely to me. But yeah, so welcome to Big Mouth Galaxy here. By the way, I'm here with my brother Micah today. Yeah, Micah! He's going to help us, so welcome to the galaxy. Alright, so we have a little sandy beach here, which is supposed to be his tongue. Yeah. Just think about it, that will actually standing on his tongue, I know. Very comforting thought to you. We do have these rocks. This one will give us nothing. This one will give us storage. And this one will give us nothing. And then over here, the other two will give us nothing. And the closer one will give us a coin. And the other one won't give us anything, so... Yeah, that's that's how it works. Anyways, uh, so yeah, we do have a little old grandpa right here. So let's let's talk let's talk to him, cause yeah, we we know how great penguins can speak, especially last time we faced a boss. My my gosh, was that something? But this is my hideaway. This perfect spot for fishing and being left alone. Uh, dude, if you think that this is a good spot for fishing, uh, let me just tell you that there are a lot of better galaxies, and, well, this one is infected by ghosts. So, I, I mean, maybe that's just right up your alley. I don't know. I, I'm not here, but, I don't know. I wouldn't want to live in a place with ghosts in the bottle. So, I don't know. Just me. This chest will only open for a shell that shines, so yes. We're gonna need a golden shell here to take open this uh, golden thing. As you can see, these lowly little green shells aren't gonna do a single thing here. So yeah. By the way, you can collect some coins just by doing that, so that is something that you can do. But, yeah. Anyway, so let's go in and dive into the Big Mouth Galaxy, into, into his intestine. Not his intestine. Don't go directly into your intestine. Bad seventh grade life science. Swong. No, I'm just kidding. Oh my gosh. Um, what is it? What is it? Uh, it's been a while since I've taken this course. Um, I don't remember. Like seriously, I'm having trouble remembering. Um, oh gosh. Okay. Uh, we're just going to abandon that idea. <laughs> but yeah. So what we're going to have to do here is we're going to have to collect. All five of these star pieces. There's one in the middle and four on like around it, kind of making like a circle within a circle shape. Sort of. And when you do collect these, they do uh, heal all your air, so you don't have to worry about uh, air problems. So, yeah. 
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you, Mario. Happy birthday to you. I hate that. Gosh, this camera is so difficult to control right now. Okay, so yeah, that is our fifth one. As you can see right here, we have a little slingshot here, and that will take us off through the surface here. Yeah, so this is literally like, oh my gosh, look at those fish. Those fish are going to give me nightmares. I'm just saying it right now. <laughs> but yeah, it's basically just a flipped image of this place over here. So. Peace out. Okay. Now, I did purposefully make a giant hole here because, well... As you can see, well, we're kind of gonna, uh, gonna have to make our way through here. Um, yeah, now you can kill these beings just by shining your little light uh, on them. So, yeah, it's kind of like the Ghosty Galaxy. Episode 14, but anyways, um, Toad? Toad? Toad, what are you doing? Yeah, I did say that I've done this video before, but I forgot about that. <laughs> oh my gosh, well. <laughs> okay, so that is the Big Mouth Galaxy completed for you guys. Not the Deep Dog. Yeah, not the Deep Dog Galaxy. <laughs> no, the Big Mouth Galaxy finally completed here, and that's going to be our 60 second stall for you guys. So yeah. Do -do -do -do. Do -do -do. Peace out. Yeah, I'm not quitting my day job. <laughs> but yeah, so in the in the, in the 18th episode, back in the back in early November, we did the Gusty Garden Galaxy. In the 19th episode, we did the Honey Clan Galaxy. In the 20th episode, we did the Freeze Flame, and in the 21st, we did the Dusty Doom Galaxy. Gee, I wonder which one we're going to be doing today. Yeah, we are going to be opening up this one that needs 33 stars. Gosh dang, we have two times the amount that it needs. Well, almost two times, but yeah. So. Let's see what is waiting in store for us here in Bowser's Lair. It is Bowser's Dark Matter Plant. All right, let's fly to this galaxy and finally take back the bedroom. Not really a galaxy. It's like going to Bowser's head. Yeah. It's kind of weird how they do that. But yeah, so we have some darkness on the horizon here in Bowser's Dark Matter Plant. There is a lot to say about this galaxy, but first of all, I want to make mention to this music here. This music is a remix of Koopa's Road from Super Mario 64. I just felt that it would be wrong if I did not mention that because, well, I did make mention to it last time we faced Bowser, which, by the way, was episode 11. Yeah, well, wow, that's actually quite funny. We're on our 22nd episode, and, well, last time we faced Bowser was episode 22. Wow, that's... That's something I actually did not realize that. But yeah, back in episode 11, I did make mention to this. But I just wanted to talk about it. And by the way, Mario Galaxy 2 has a better track out of these two galaxies. Like, seriously? Mario Galaxy 2... Oh, gosh dang it. Mario Galaxy 2 also has a remix of Bowser's Road. It's better. Like, I don't, I don't mean to make Mario Galaxy look like a bad game, because we do. Yeah, but I will have to give them that. My Galaxy Dude just has better music in that was in that one gold, so that is something, but Oh yeah. Now this whole galaxy has to do with gravity. Yeah, this whole galaxy has to do with gravity. And as I said last time in the Dusty Dune Galaxy and well I introduced this in the Freeze Man Galaxy. Uh you know, each game and each, you know, each you know, mission or level in each game 
you know, should have a theme. So, uh, you know, the theme of Super Mario Galaxy, or one of the many themes of Super Mario Galaxy, I should say, is gravity, you know, among many other things. And I just really like this level because it really hopes on uh, w what makes this game so unique in all the Super Mario Galaxy. All the Super Mario platformers, not the Super Mario Galaxy platformers. Oh my gosh, Mario, just... This should not be so hard, but yeah, I was trying to show up here. Uh, we do have some coins here and a coin question block. I don't know why you'd ever want them because there is no coin hungry lumens in this game, unlike Super Mario Galaxy 2. Wow, we are just. We're just dissing Super Mario Galaxy today. I do not mean to do that, but it's true. Super Mario Galaxy 2 does have coin hungry lumens. Making coins actually be necessary, but. Just, you know, whatever. Let's see what this guy has to say. The dark matter is eating holes in space. Watch out for these holes or you'll fall into the dark matter. So yes, we have a new obstacle right here. These are these little holes that you can fall into and, you know, take you down. Now, this is my thing. They put holes in these blocks here. So you're going to have to jump over them or else, you know, you're going to fall into that little, um, I want to say poisonous group, but no, dark matter. So definitely be on your watch. Well, be on your guard for that. Here we have yet another uh, little thing right here that you need to watch out for. Let's see if I can do some gravity shenanigans. There we go. Grab this one up, Mushroom. Where are you going? What the heck? Such a... Wow, that... One up, Mushroom is a troll. Jeez, okay. Yeah, so now we have the main part of the galaxy. And... Boy, is this something. <laughs> Yeah, the first time you really play this, it may be hard to uh, figure out what you need to do. So here's my advice. First part, stay on the top left squadron, okay? For the second part, make sure you're in the bottom left, as uh, you can see right here. So that you don't fall into the uh, dark metal. And then for the next squadron, go into the bottom right, so you don't fall in. And then for this last one, we there is, you know, those green arrows, so don't stay on the platform for very long, or else it will actually kill you. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so that's my guide on that part. It is quite tough if you're not very uh, accustomed to this whole gravity thing, but I'm sure it's not too hard if you really think long and hard about it. Yeah. So, we are making our way up to Bowser. Grab this little life mushroom with six lives. Let's save our final Luma. Alright, everyone. It is finally time to reclaim the bedroom. It's you! That's it, Mario! I'm gonna stomp you into space bits! Bring it on, Bowser! Bring it on! So this is our second fight with Bowser on episode 22, last one on episode 11, as I stated previously. Yeah, so last time we fought Bowser heal, uh, he had, you know, these uh, little shock moves that he did shoot out of his butt. <laughs> well, not, not his butt, just, you know, his ground pounds. Shockwaves. He also has this fireball effect that he uh, learned last time we fought him. However, he does have a new trick up his sleeve here. And I think he got hit by that. I'm not sure. Uh, let's just spin on him. And you spin me right round, baby, right round. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. And there you go. That's hit number one. Wow. You could not have aimed that any better, Wario. Wow. Good job for you. Yeah, so you're just going to be shooting fireball in a 360. Oh my gosh, just fire. Oh, okay. Try to stay on the screen thing. It will protect us from most of... Yeah, so that is Bowser's new move heal. He has uh, what I'm going to be calling the Dark Matter Spin heal. Uh, what you need to do is just uh, use your long jump or straight... Yeah, straight to the left or right. Because otherwise he will outrun you. This has been tested. He is extremely fast with that move, and it will send you flying into the air, so definitely watch out for that move. It is extremely powerful. Not extremely powerful, but it is something that makes him very mobile and 
you know, deals one damage. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. It's a decently hard attack to avoid in Bowser's kit. Okay, we are reduced to three lives. Bowser's is chasing us with his dog matter spin heal. That has been taking some notes. Alright. Let's see if we can get him hitting that one. Nope. Okay, gotta watch out for this fire wheel. This fire will travel over these green things, so you can't use them to camp from the fireballs. However, you can use them to camp uh, from these little lasers if you did not know. Which is why I've been trying to stay on there for long periods of time. Here. But we only have two lives. Don't we'll fix that heal. Okay, back to three. Using this Dark Matter Spin. One, two, three. And jump into the air. Into the lava. There we go. Uh, Bowser, you're not going in a complete circle here. Okay, um, please. Please, man, Bowser. Okay, oh my gosh. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. Missed opportunity right there. Okay, we got some fireballs here again. By the way, speaking of Bowser, this music, by the way, is Bowser Great Koopa King. While I would not consider it a masterpiece of uh, musicianship, it is something that I do like listening to, so. I think that it's a very underrated track in, you know, the Super Mario Galaxy game, so. Okay, you can just try to watch the bottom heel. Oh gosh, okay, we have one more try. There we go! Okay, we actually hit him! Wow, I thought we wouldn't be able to! And... Hey! <laughs> Not bad! I guess I choose the right guy to be my arch enemy! Or at least you always put up a fight. But it's too bad for you because my master plan is already most complete. Tough luck, Mario. And hop. And with that, there's only one thing left to say. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you have especially enjoyed the video. And yes, I will see you next time on Super Mario Galaxy! I will see you then.